my people if nigerians drag you online eh hmm. i don't think you'll survive it eh? the na serious depression will hit you i just wake up this morning i'm going through my phone and uh, i saw that yule doche rendered an apology public apology to his wife may yule doche you know and some bloggers are saying that he deleted all the pictures of his second wife so i'm actually in his instagram right now and truth be told i can't see the picture of um, his second wife right now so the thing is that i think this man is going through a lot this man is really going through a lot because nigerians are really dragging him so badly because of the second wife that he married look at the message he wrote to his wife to my dear wife queen may you edoche i acknowledge that i hurt you deeply and i have apologized to you countless times i take the blame for my actions i agree with you that polygamy shouldn't be forced on anyone you never begin for it from the beginning neither did i but i guess i guess life happens you already know the whole story i didn't do it to disrespect you i didn't do it to replace you no because i do not love you anymore no i have always loved you and always will i have been a good husband and a wonderful father I have supported all your hustle from the one. I have been an exceptional father to our children to death, making sure they lack nothing. I'm always there for everyone. Out of 100, I have done 99 things right. Hating me because of one thing isn't the best. Nobody is perfect. I am not. You are not. Nobody is except God. I assure you that nobody is trying to take your place. I've apologized to you countless times, sincerely from my heart. I am sorry. I have always loved you and always will. Buto Wayoma. We can live peacefully and happily. Hmm. And he didn't actually put the button to, to comment because if if he actually leave the comment button, uh, the Nigerians will <laughs> They finish this man with comments, you know, people that he's even better than people that he's even better off will come and comment his page, you know, cursing him for marrying second wife. My people, I have seen a lot of bloggers carry this man that um, there must be a reason for this uh, public apology to his wife. And I came to his page on Facebook and I saw this video. Make gonna watch this video too. Look, no matter what, suicide is not an option. Alright? <clears throat> suicide is not an option. A lot of people, a lot of people are going through a whole lot of stuff. That's the truth. A lot of people are going through a lot of things. A lot of people are depressed. Uh, times are so hard. Times are so hard right now. Uh, a lot of people are going through a lot of things that most times they find it very difficult. <coughs> Excuse me. They find it very difficult to speak out. Uh, but no matter what, no matter what, listen, suicide is not an option. Okay? Taking your life, taking your life is not an option. Speak out. Please speak out. There are millions of people in the world. Please speak out. You don't know who's going to listen to you. You don't know who's going to hear you. All right. Use social media. Use social media to speak. Use use social media to speak out. Okay. Use social media. Voice out. Voice out. Whatever it is that you're going through. If someone is blackmailing you or, you know, you're going through a lot of stuff, voice out. Um, <clears throat> I noticed that a lot of people... A lot of people are really bothered about, you know, what will society say if I come out with my truth, if I say this, you know, if I come out um, open and say my truth and say what's going on with me, how I'm feeling, what will society say? And that has, that has killed a lot of people. That thought has killed a lot of people. Listen, don't, don't, don't care what society is going to say. All right. If you have something that is bothering you, if you need to ask for help, 
okay it doesn't matter if you don't get but don't don't ever feel like let me buckle it in you know lock it all up in there and don't speak out all right speak out speak out the truth about the truth about uh, <clears throat> excuse me the truth about society um, the society same society that would judge you um, uh, you know when you say your truth and say your stuff uh, you know but same society is still going to come out when you don't speak and then you die in silence you you know you uh, commit suicide or something same society is still going to come out and say oh yes why didn't why didn't that person talk why didn't that person speak out and all that all right so if you're going through stuff truth is a lot of people are going through a lot right now things are quite tough you never know you see people smiling you see people see people dancing you know see people doing their stuff looking like they're genuinely happy you don't know what that person is going through you know you don't know and and telling people to to be nice telling telling people to be nice uh these days is just like a waste of time because people people are never going to be nice that's the truth so you as a person you just have to buckle up and be strong don't care what people are going to say about you all right just do your thing say you know speak out say what you're going through use social media whatever it is speak out a lot of people are going to see it some people are going to repost it and you never can tell how help is yeah you never can tell how help is going to come you can tell believe me there are people out there much as there are a lot of uh uh, people who are going through stuff. There are still a lot of people who have a lot of money out there who also have the heart to help people out. Even if you're owing the whole world, even if you're owing people a hundred million dollars or something and you're thinking about taking your life, don't do it. Use social media to speak out. All right. I just said I should drop these words because I know that a lot of brothers and a lot of, a lot of sisters are going through so much that most times they just find it so difficult to speak. You know, so what I want to tell you today, please speak out. Whatever it is that you're going through, speak out. Suicide is not an option, all right? Suicide is not an option. It's not the best to take your life. Don't give up. Don't give up. No matter what you're going through, don't give up. Life is going to be tough once in a while, but make sure you don't give up, all right? I wish you guys the very best. I love you. My name is Yola Doce, signing out. Thank you, sir. Sir, you, Edoche, I respect you so much, you know? Um... I can see this man is going through a lot. He's actually giving advice to Nigerians at the same time. You know, you can always notice that he's going through a lot. And uh, that is also maybe the reason why he came out to public to apologize to his wife. And just like he said, suicide is never an option. Use social media, you know. Some time ago, that is, uh, I had a lot of things that happened to me, and uh, you know, I came out to give testimony about it on social media, and I feel so much relieved doing that. And so many people came to my inbox to encourage me to give me a very good word of encouragement, you know. But some people were against it that I'm blasting my my privacy on social media but sometimes you'll be indoor laughing and smiling people will think that everything is normal if social media will help you to get healed you can actually do it sometime sometime you know so i think this man is actually going out going through a lot of things right now because nigerians are dragging him so much Nigerians hate the fact that he married another woman, he impregnated another woman and married her uh, against the concept of his first wife. And this is a wife they, that they built together from scratch when, they, when, when he didn't even have much money. So, and you know, uh, I wake up this morning and a lot of bloggers were saying that the DNA was that the, they checked the DNA and the child was not his own and he deleted all the pictures of his second wife and so many things they were saying but I don't actually know if it's the truth if the child is actually belong to him or not and that is not actually my business but you know I respect this man so much and um, 
he's going through a lot right now and he's just trying to be happy he's just trying to be accepted again in the society by nigerians because so many young people are making jokes of him on social media and that is not really a good feeling if nigerians drag you a hair your life don't finish <laughs> they'll drag you on like <laughs> but anyway if you just need to be strong to live up to it because even blessing ceo was hate on social media but she's really she's using those hates to make so much money and the people that are hating on her she's she's using them and their data to convert to money <laughs> so you will adopt you whatever thing that you're going through just be strong we love you so much you are a great as in you, you are doing you are doing so great in the society in um you are impacting so much in the life of nigerian youth you know through your movie production and so on and so forth you are doing and relationship matter that is your personal life and uh i really wish you all the best so guys whatever thing you're going through i've been i've been in a situation that i wanted to take my life but i thank god that god came through for me god came through for me that i didn't uh, let her do that and that would be the as in uh, the worst decision ever so whatever thing you're going through in life just be strong seek the face of god speak out speak out even if they are discouraging you from speaking out to the social media or, or public come out wrong man speak out speak out nigerians are hypocrites they will turn against you that you are speaking out pouring your privacy in public but they don't know that you have been dying out of depression and so many things if that will heal your heart just speak out suicide is not even suicide is not even an option at all please don't take your life just be strong seek the faith of god speak out to the public you never know who might go my sins to help you god is using social media to reach out to so many as you know sometimes some life will change because of one thing or the other through social media so please whatever thing you are going through do not take your life speak out and again i'm speaking to nigerian youth wherever you are and Finland is giving opportunities to international students, including you, 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 Africans. You can also partake in this scholarship. And the next application is coming this January, guys. And it's fully funded scholarship for master's degree programs and also for vocational college. So if you would like to take this opportunity, this is a great life-changing opportunity that will change a whole lot of things for you if your situation is not really good back home so if you want to take part in this scholarship and they have 5,000 euro relocation grants which they're going to give to you and you're not going to pay any dime to come and study in these great schools in Finland so if you want to take part in this school please reach out to me drop your comments what you think about the Yule Edoche do you do you believe that he's passing through a lot to you? Do you like what he did to come out to public to speak out and also speaking against depression? That means this man is is really going. It's why he's dancing the music of Suruga, the music. So I pray that God will heal him. I pray that Nigerians will accept him back, you know, to the society. So if you want to take baths, please drop your comment that you are also interested in this scholarship. So thank you so much for watching this video and see you next time. Bye.